Mm. All right, so I'm going to give you a quick tour. This is uh, the Mad Squib um, studio slash living space. And uh, I'm in Patterson, New Jersey. My window faces out to um, Market Street. And um, it's very loud. You know, it's, it's like the place is dead. But there's just a few people out there that really make things really loud. And uh, so um, here's my stuff. I'm going to go through, give you a little tour, most, you know, obviously, of my work. This is these... Um, The stencil paintings I've been doing mostly lately, or had, and then I started to branch off into some other things. Oh, there's another one in here, in this box that, it's another little piece of something that I never really developed, but this one's developed the, uh, I don't know where to put it, put it over here, and, uh, this, this is a, uh, a gouache on, and ink on paper that I did probably around 2003. And here's another one that's upside down. Anyway, those have been at my dad's. Um, and so I picked them all up. And, you know, obviously this is from my dad's. I made a sign for him from way back when. Hey, I'm going to paint on that. I'm going to leave, obviously, the name or at least <clears throat> most of the name showing. Yeah, he's a dentist. So, and here goes, or he, yeah, he just retired actually, 90, 91 years old. And here is um, another stencil painting, stencil painting behind me. And as we go down the line, I'll just quickly roll through what's going on here. And then we go way, way back. This one was also at my dad's. And this was from 1998. Uh, Shapes series, from which I have a few left. And then I'll just, there's a little thing that somebody gave me from Madame Mesquite School. Ava, a young first grader, I believe, and her mom gave me that. And here is Sri Ramakrishna. And more stencil paintings. And then this painting down here, uh, I mean, I'm really just saying fuck it. It's it's titled Brahman, and it's the same size as Sri Ramakrishna, Sri Ramakrishna, Brahman, Brahman, Sri Ramakrishna. And then here's some more of these nice, uh, what do you call it? <clears throat> Stencil paintings. This one is, is in progress. Uh, I, I talked about this in my last video. This one dates all the way back to like 1995 or 96, probably 96, and uh, I still got some work to do on that. And there's another one of my stencil paintings, I guess I call them a stencil painting. This one is very, very special to me too. It's kind of along with these ones, Brahmin. Oh, so this one kind of stands alone. It's different than everything I do, obviously. And uh, But this one is related to this because you have Brahman, which is just a vision I had of Brahman. Um, you know, say, so, oh, oh, you've seen Brahman, huh? It's like, well, that's the best I could say. I got a, got a glimpse and it looked like a, a pink floating cloud or, or not pink, but had pink in it and multicolors floating, almost like a pillow, butterfly pillow or something. It was, you know, kind of uh, interesting. And then this cover some uh, some subjects, some some elements of um, spirituality, such as the water. It's basically about water. So you can you can, you know, think of uh, the parallels to spiritual concepts or I don't know. And that, that one there, that spray paint can is from my first year at SVA, nineteen ninety three. These ones are stencil paintings that are going to be mounted. They're on these like two by four foot 
panels of plywood. These two are vertical. These two are horizontal. I think they're really killer. I think they're gonna, these are, these are like the stencil paintings, but just straight up graffiti or mostly graffiti. Like the, just much more like, fuck it. I, I'm a graffiti writer and I make art about graffiti and the graffiti is about art, blah, blah, blah. There's a really old one. This one's about 1994, 95. When I was at the Art Students League, here's some more of my stencil paintings. That one there is from about 2004. I thought this was a pretty darn good painting. I'm getting all these things back, you know. I had, to, had them stored in my dad's house, and I'm gonna leave that one. I'm not gonna mess with that, but like this woman figure I'm gonna paint over probably, and the spray paint can, I'm gonna turn into one of these kind of deals with a lot of stencils and layering. And uh, this one is called Vision. I put this in a video a long time ago. Um, it just, you know, it's a decent painting. It's, it's from my old concept or my old understanding of spirituality where I saw visions and things. And um, I just, I was hoping to find aliens and all that stuff and didn't, didn't find Vedanta yet. And um, so that's what, it's still an interesting painting. I should actually move this back, all this crap in the way as I'm just like moving in here so you can see the the kind of road that's going back. This is, you know, it seems a little stark, the sky and the blue figure. It is it looks that way on my on my on my phone, but when I look at it not on the phone, it doesn't look as stark like dark blue and light blue. It's it's a more of a subtle transition. More stencil paintings down here. This is one I, I finished in 2022, maybe, 22, 21. This one's like a psychedelic face that I started and I just kept working with and I kind of like it. I guess I could close it out and finish it. This is a little mini, mini guy. It's called Lil, Lil, Lil Thang or something. Uh, I like that little guy. And here's some more of these. This one's a stencil painting I didn't finish. It's on a, a canvas panel. Um, this is like my vinyl chair and love seat and you know this is actually what I'm sleeping on now until I go down and get my bed this weekend in North Carolina. Here's some more stencil paintings. These, um, these three here are interesting. One, two, three. They have sort of my, they, they go along with that blue one that was sort of of my old spiritual understanding and they have this tree there see that little three-armed swirly thing that is pretty meaningful it's like a tree of life kind of thing this is a pretty cool painting i think is very close to finish and here we are this is the squibs house and what i also realized is that i have enough space in here up there on the left probably i mean that light switch is going to be close but up there, I'm gonna be able to. That's a, I'm gonna be able to hang my big 15 foot painting and uh, show that to people when they come visit. If I can get any studio visitors here to Patterson, so that's my deal. And um, hey, we're ready to go here. I got my palette <laughs> over here, my round palette, which I love. It was an old glass table that I just turned into a palette. Oh, and this one's really dope. This one I finished recently, stencil painting. So yeah, I'm just showing you what's up. You know, I got a lot of room here. I'm gonna be able to show a lot of work, kind of rotate it around so that I can look at more pieces at one time than I have been able to in the past because I had my um, small studio in North Carolina and it was probably, I don't know, it wasn't nearly as big as this. And I'm gonna be able to, um, you know, look at paintings and how they interrelate a bit more than I had before. It, I don't know whether that really matters. I don't know whether I really wanna do that. Do I want the paintings to like have some kind of um, link or continuity other than the fact that I'm the one who made them and the subject matter is the same and the technique is is going to be similar not the same always I do have different techniques that I use but you get what I'm saying like 
I guess I'll figure that out when I start doing it. All right, what do we got? Make this a 10 minute video. And Mad Squib is out, word up.